Okay, kids, you're in for a treat. <laughs> um, I finally figured out my remote viewing that I started in 2009. Um, it is a, what do I want to call it? Like a sand, like a sand reactor. It's a, um, it's a sand battery. Um, um, I went to remote view the most optimal, most appropriate, um, free energy device, um, and it was something, ended up being something that I invented in the future, which would be right now, or kind of worked on over the years, except I wasn't really sure, like, what exactly it was until right now. Um, I knew there was some coil on the bottom, I knew there was a P substrate and an N substrate, and then there was an R substrate, which was the kind of liquid or whatever that was in inside the the um, the shell, the casing. Um, and then then that was doped with uh, magnesium sulfate or X Epsom salts to um as as like uh, to um I don't know to make it like reactive with whatever I was attempting to do. So I finally figured it out, okay, it's like a, it's like, um, I know people are starting to make, in Finland or whatever, they started to make uh, sand batteries. So that actually, I got, I, I actually figured it out now. Um, the coil on the bottom was a heating coil. So this aluminum case had a coil attached to the bottom. That's a heating coil. The heating coil heats up the substrate, which was epoxy with sand in it. In this case, Epsom salts, because I guess it must work better or something. I don't know. And then, um, and then the P and N substrates were thermoelectric uh, coupling or thermoelectric um, devices, whatever. So the heat that was in the that was stored inside the container, inside the um, the sand mix, the sand epoxy mix. Um, that would act as like a heat sink and it would store heat and then when you want to take energy out of the the um, the heated up sort of uh, uh, device you would do so by doing thermoelectric and then um, taking electricity out of that so in this way you have not only battery but also a reactor and a generator so um so what? So so that's I guess how the whole thing works. Is it's basically just a uh, um, just an electricity storage and um, and uh, an output I guess or whatever storage and access. And somehow, so for some reason, I chose. I don't know if it was because I was thinking about it at the time, but uh, magnesium sulfate. But I'm sure regular sand would work too, or quartz sand, or silica, or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I was remote viewing, and um, it was, I did a, I was look, thinking up something else, and then I got thinking of uh, uh, thermocoupling and um, and like the like the heating coils and the the uh, it, yeah, it just all came together. So um, yeah, this is definitely what I was getting at back in two thousand nine um, when I did the remote viewing, and then. Um, and the, yeah, yeah, it all makes sense now. This is this is what I was remote viewing. So, um, so yeah, so <laughs> there, I just shared it with you. Um, so yeah, so um, so so what it is is, I'll just go over it one more time. Um, it's an aluminum container. It's basically a shell that sits on your, um, on your uh, circuit board or whatever, and um, it has a heating coil on the bottom. And it's full of re resin epoxy um, do that's like full of um, some type of sand. So it actually is like a heat sink. So it's like an aluminum heat sink. And um, you heat up the bottom of the can and it like heats up with, it, it, it sinks and stores the heat inside the can. The can has a little hole on the top. So in case pressure builds up, so compressor can move in and out of the thing, which is a good thing, I guess, because otherwise it'll just explode. Um, there's a P and an N substrate in there, 
um, so you can move voltage in and out, and I think they'd have to be touching, but I'm not sure. Um, so you can move voltage in and out, um, or, well, not move voltage in and out, but just to draw draw voltage out of it, um, just as a sensor type of deal. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. It's it's just as simple as that. So um, the magic is in the um, it's in the physics behind it. So um, so yeah. So if you're confused at all, thermocouple is when there's uh, two different types of metal or a P and N types, um, a positive and negative uh, type uh, semiconductors, I guess. Two different semiconductors that um, that are exposed to heat will generate electricity. So you just need a P-type and an N-type, um, whatever, metal or substrate or um, just any type of sub semiconductor. So, um, so anything will work, like even iron and copper or something. So there, just gave you an idea. So anyways, that's how it works. And thanks for watching. This is my class.